now, Cajun Miles presents Council's Corner. Welcome back to Council's Corner with Shannon Miles and Jamie Cage of Cage and Miles Family Law. And who is this young fellow? This is Miles the Golden Doodle. He was my engagement ring from my husband, so to speak, <laughs> because my husband proposed to me with Miles as a puppy, and he is now a huge part of our family. Oh yes, obviously you said yes, smart husband. And that's, <laughs> a, that's a big thing. Now you guys are family law specialists, right. but California now, I guess for the first time, recognizes them as family? Right, they definitely have a more expansive uh, view of animals and family court, effective January 2019. So the courts actually have a broader authority to make orders with regard to pets and the sharing of animals okay. in the state of California. Well, that's, that sounds very good. I mean, we think they're fur babies. By the <laughs> way, we let ours go over to your husband, so he's doing fine over there. So how do they figure in divorce, though? Well, pets are still considered property uh, in, in a divorce context in California. So they're still not at the level of um, where, we, where we treat children mm -hmm. and we don't consider all the same things of what we would consider in child custody arrangements, but we're getting closer. And that's what is so exciting about the change in this law. Yeah, but it's not a car or a house. I mean, it, <laughs> it's a thing, you can't split the baby. Right, and if you were dividing a car, the court wouldn't consider who washes the car, who puts gas in the car. But with animals, the court will consider those types of issues. So who's feeding the animal? Who's taking the animal to the vet? Who's responsible really for the care of the animal on a daily basis? Now, does it change if a couple isn't married? It does, because unfortunately, um, you, you're not gonna get assistance in awarding the pet from one party to the other if we're not in a divorce context, because it is still a property right. piece of the divorce. So if you're not married and you're having a dispute about ownership of a pet, that still is going to be something that's covered in, in a civil court context. So you still have to go to court, but it's not family, it's civil. Correct. Right. Well, I'm just so glad they finally recognize that animals are really a part of our family. It's not just something you can disregard in right. a situation like that. And we love Miles, by the way. I, can see <laughs> I do why, too. I can see why you said yes. <laughs> it doesn't matter what's involved in your divorce. Cage and Miles have seen it all. Call them at 858 943-2060 or you can go online to cageandmiles.com I certainly hope you'll see Miles the Golden Doodle on your webpage. <laughs> you will.